Hello, boys and girls. This is Santa, and I'm just glad to, to be here today to read a little story to you. And uh, this book that I'm fixing to read is called The First Kwanzaa. <clears throat> and it's written by Clara Mounts. Okay. Hooray, hooray. It's time to get ready for Kwanzaa. First, we get the Canara. It's made of shiny wood. I put it in seven candles, three red, one black, three green. We light a candle every night to celebrate a special idea. Mommy brings me the Kikambe, the Unity Cup, for each child. We place one ear of corn called Muhindi on a straw mat. My brother adds apples, yams, nuts, and squash. The fruits and vegetables, Malayo, remind us of the end of the harvest at the beginning of the planting season. Just like in Africa. On the first day of Kwanzaa, neighbors come to visit we ask, Abari Gani, that means what's the news? We laugh and talk and sing. We are friends and family. On the second day of Kwanzaa, I ask mommy to braid my hair in a fancy African way. It makes me feel proud. On the third day of Kwanzaa, we plant flowers in the lot next door. We all work together to make our neighborhood pretty. On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we buy special food for our celebration. We like to shop in our neighborhood stores to keep our businesses strong. And on the fifth day of Kwanzaa, I dream of what I can be. Someday I will be an African dancer like my Aunt Tasha. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, my cousin and I paint a clay pot and weave some baskets. We will make our house beautiful. On the seventh day of Kwanzaa, we light the candle, the last candle, to show our faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. Grandma gives us Zuwadi gifts for purposes, for promises that we have kept all year. A handmade doll for me and an African shaker gourd for my brother. At last, it is time for the feast. We call the Aramo. Friends come over and everyone cooks delicious African cookies. The house smells so good, spicy chicken and sweet yam. We all take a sip from the energy cup and share our wonderful meal. Then we sing, dance, play music, and celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa. Thank y'all for listening, y'all. Now, remember reading is a gift to keep and a gift to share. I always have a special treat for you. Pick up this activity sheet from the Harry P. Woodson Memorial Library or ask your teacher in Caldwell for a copy. Complete the activity and bring the sheet into the library and turn it in at the library's front desk. One of the librarians will give you a present from me and ourselves, our elves, excuse me, from me, Ms. Claus, and all of our elves. Thank you all for listening today, and I hope you all enjoyed it.